Hi guys, welcome back and welcome back to another God of War leftover. <laughs> I feel terrible that during our grand finale, I failed to go back to their their home in Wild Woods. I'm pretty sure you've watched the Ragnarok reaction video, right? I had already watched the video and Tom told me that the trailer, the next trailer kind of spoils this experience but i still think that's something we should did together on the channel as i said before we are done with the main campaign but occasionally i will still throw in some casual exploration with this game for example chasing the corrupted valkyries still so many favors left to do yeah i hope you guys are excited to see more of the god of war videos all right let's go let's go home So close. Uh, this one's closer. One of you guys mentioned in the comments um, in the finale episode that I didn't cry. That's very interesting because I was very surprised too. I normally get very emotional and cry a lot. Um, but for some reason I didn't that day. Maybe I was We're dehydrated. Finally home. <laughs> Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Still amazed by its beauty. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. <laughs> He's so cute. Whiny sometimes, but still okay. this will do. <laughs> Sleep. Way ahead of you. <laughs> Years later. What's that? The ball. Thor. Are you a calm and reasonable person? <laughs> You're right, Tom. I, re I already saw it. But it's so cool to to see the full picture of what happened before. Thor showed up. This is the true ending. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Oh. Atreus, Back to prison are you ready? Day. Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimba winter was ending, and Thor came for us here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like. The future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Um. Besides this, I've I've cleared wild woods. So let's travel to the next location. I'm in the mood to explore this area. Still share stories. Namir, you never told me what happened with the stone mason's son. Rimstur, son of Thandor. After completing his father's masterwork, the Great Wall of Jotunheim, he thought of nothing but making the Aesir pay for their crimes against the giants. Once he longed to fight Thor, but tragedy had brought wisdom to Rimstur and cunning. He observed that Asgard's walls were half-built and shoddy, for no Aesir god could be bothered with such tiresome labor. 
So Fearfore adopted the guise of an ordinary man and made the Aesir an offer. He would build them majestic new walls, and if he couldn't build them within two turns of the season, they would owe him nothing for his labors. And if he succeeded, oh, that's the story I told. he asked only for an audience with the goddess Freya. Odin agreed, knowing the task was impossible, but intrigued by the stranger. Arimthor made short work of it, of course. He had the benefit of his father's training and the aid of a magical stallion for fetching stones. Odin was not happy to find himself on the losing end of the wager, but he seemed to uphold his end of the bargain. Freya was sent to meet the mason, and to her surprise, he wanted only to whisper something in her ear. That being done, he made his way out of Asgard. And when he found Thor awaiting him at the gates of Midgard, he knew he had been double-crossed. But he didn't care, because his plan was complete. It was? What did he say to Freya? Only she could say for certain, but I've had many moons to work it out. Harimthur knew that Freya loathed the Aesir, despite her marriage to Odin. And I believe he gave her the secret to Asgard's defenses. Some weakness he may have built in, structural or magical, which I expect will be exploited come Ragnarok when Surtur arrives to burn Asgard to ash. If not sooner. Wow, that's very different from the original mythology. In the Mir's version, Loki wasn't even part of the story. <laughs> it's so fun to compare how the game approaches the mythology. And the more commonly accepted version. I wish I could move faster with that book. But I've been really distracted by um, Disco Elysium. I really shouldn't have bought that game on the Switch though. It's a great game, but it's a bit frustrating to play on the Switch. Hello, bro. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, bro. It's talking to me! It's in Vari! Ha! Knew it! He says he went to the Velander mines to observe his mistake, but then the Soul Eater attacked, so as he was being ripped apart, he cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And then he. What about all his stuff? Uh, huh? <laughs> I'm very okay. at a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools. And one beaut of a hat. You make mention of it still in there? Uh, you're upsetting him. Your point? <laughs> you fellas take on Vari with you and go have a look-see. If you find his hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. Let's do this. I like hey fighting now, Death Eaters. Your entry stone. The ring. Before he isn't happy about us taking his stuff. I do not care. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him that. Wait, you can communicate? Back? Prepare your axe. Enemies ahead. Yeah. Woo! Where are they? Thing. 
Unpredictable. says this dwarf was part of his crew. That he died because of his mistakes. He sounds... sad. The ring's grief is of little importance, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um... not yet. We are not done here. What is that connected to? Different angle. Almost. This way, boy. I can't see now. Mm, further back, further back. What if you jump in? Mm, no. Maybe cut it loose first? Hmm, nothing here. Maybe go up first. Not to go down. Oh. Yes. Be trusted. I love fighting the Dark Elf Lords. To me, I like the dog. Ready, boy? Going down. I wonder if we get to control a trace more. I know we can kind of in this one, but I'm talking full control. Silence that ring. Cradles prefer silence. A soul leader. And a traveler. Guard up. Just sharpening his sword. Oh, <laughs> so soon. <laughs> I 
I've never seen the animation for the tag of one finisher. Eater. Hmm. A dead. Oh, a dead one. The traveler has a magical rune. If we see him lifted in his hand, father should throw his axe at it. Oh. Soul eater. What's a soul eater even doing here? What do you mean it's your fault? Boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough for me to ignore. Kill it. Oh, I can't. This is the first time I return to a open world story-based RPG game after I've completed the main story. Are you getting it? Not counting DLC or, or, or like a uh, epilogue. I see no traps. <laughs> Sounded so sure about it. I think the way they did it, it feels natural. It's believable. The way Cradles told Atreus, there's so much to do. It's nothing crazy. Just a simple touch that makes a big difference. And also before they left Jotunheim, he said, like, it's up to you what we want to do next. Simple designs like that makes me want to come back and do more. Versus um, many other games, after you complete the main story, it just brings you back to the last chapter. Yeah, it brings you back to the last chapter <laughs> like the end game never happened before. Here. This is a new area. <gasps> Startled me. Good job, son. Mm -hmm. Right there. Yes. Blind. Oh. Oh. What's that tall one? Why is he taller than the other? That slows him down. Oh. Mm. 
Mimir warned me. Whoa! I can't die. I can't die. Just can't. No! I did die. This is not all smooth sailing. Loads of special attacks. Hmm? They tire themselves out after that, you know, after that move. Huh? Oh, this epic talisman. Create a small defensive zone that prevents Cradle's attacks from being interrupted and reduces the amount of damage he takes. When upgraded, it restores a small amount of health as well. So wait. Wait, <laughs> it's not over yet. If we can freeze or weaken it, it won't be able to recover in the air when launched or knocked out of aerial attacks. Axe is better. Boy. Father, please, just listen. Ivar's crew did something bad here. He's glad you just learned the lie. And he's sorry you kept from trip. His hammer is just to this game. Is this it? Ah, I was wondering about this. New lore. Soul Eaters. Removing an ancient soul and domesticating it as a beast of burden was surprisingly easy. They followed my every command and appeared to possess no free will, sense of self-preservation, or even hunger. Well, not until it turned a poor lit into ashes. Not even his soul remained. A lack of their own must be what drives them to immolate the souls of others. My Soul Eaters are an abomination. Several were sent to Mosvalheim at the request of Sasurter. What he will use them for, I shuddered to consider. Another to Motsagnir? Motsagnir at Konuskar? A fool can burn for all I care. My immediate concern is the dwarfs of the Vlander mines. I pray I'm not too late to undo my mistake. This is a fine hammer. Says, thank you. <laughs> hammer of the dwarven blacksmith and Vari. And Vari. Of value to Brock. Oh, he's gonna be so happy. This looks like something I can blow up. Oh, yeah. You wanna keep the the ring, the soul eater, or the axe? Oh shoot, 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 shoot! I Good job, boy. Proud of you. You 
Here. Got it. The alchemist's hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah. Andre always was an asshole. <laughs> Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. You don't want it? Father, we can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. He can talk. Fine. So long as he proves his worth. <laughs> Kid's a bit of a softy, huh? Eh? Well, yeah. Out of it. Oh, I love that about him. Handfire's soul. Epic enchantment. Very high perk. Activation chance to grant a health burst on any successful runic attack kill. Thank you for granting Atreus this wish, Cradles. You can be very sweet too when you want to. One of these two. Okay. Your service is over. Look at that. Hmm. And Vari's tail. He's categorized under friends. And Vari wasn't very helpful at first. But something about seeing that dead soul eater in the lens through their minds made him realize he was being kind of a jerk. I think he feels guilty because he because he and some other dwarfs were experimenting with ancients there and they accidentally created soul eaters. Glad we didn't have to fight anymore. Anyway, his soul is still trapped in a ring. Brock wanted to melt him down. He can be so mean sometimes. But I convinced the father to keep him. And now he's part of our group. Father even uses Andvari's soul as an enchantment sometimes. Must be hard being trapped in a piece of jewelry. But Andvari doesn't complain too much. I've gotten pretty good at ignoring him. <laughs> Let's see how good we can make this. And more. Oh! Wow! It's expensive! It costs a lot to upgrade the epic gears. Maybe it's time to sell my junk. Alright guys, kind of a short episode, huh? <laughs> but it's getting late. I'm just gonna wrap it up here. I know it's kind of un uneventful doing this after the main story is over. I still hope you have fun watching today's episode. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay updated. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.